I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make VDBs inside of Cinema 4D. And we're going to use Octane to render them out. So before uh, we get too far into it, let's go ahead and delete everything here. So we start with a fresh scene. And let's go ahead and make what we need. So to begin with, we're going to need the Volume Builder. And by the way, this is for Cinema 4D R21, but you can do the same thing in R20. It's just things are slightly different in R21, like locations and whatnot. But this is the same kind of way you're going to do it. So we have Volume Builder. And then we're going to use this field, and just to keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead with a random field. I'm going to drop that under the volume builder. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just take the volume builder and drop it right into the object, and it'll link it that way. And now at first, it doesn't really look like it's doing anything. That's because my project is all messed up here. i got to go here and change that to huge. The reason why is because, for some reason, when I make these volumes or these VDBs, it really jacks up my my setup. So this is going to be a very small volume right here, but when we load it into Octane, it's going to look much bigger. So we have to be extremely cautious with what we're doing here. All right, so we have our volume builder, and it's linked inside the objects here. And you can link multiple objects, and you can actually use them to subtract from each other or intersect each other, and you can make really cool things. Um, and I recommend just playing around with that, but for the time being, this is just going to be a very simple, basic tutorial. So uh, we have the volume builder here. So if you want to uh, see more of the voxels and have a more sharp-looking object rather than this weird cube, what you're going to do is you're going to decrease the voxel size. And you can change them here overall. You can change, you know, different ones or different settings here. For the for, for the most part here, we're just going to go ahead and stick around. Uh, we're going to stick with the voxel size here. I'm going to lower that to 0 0.01. And then Cinema 4D just takes a few seconds for it to calculate what it needs. And then that's what we get. All right. So let's go to this random field and let's change some settings in here. So this random field, we have a bunch of things and you can change the field type from here if you wanted. You don't have to stick with um, just the random field. You can choose whatever you want. And then you can choose noise, you can choose sorted. Uh, sorted does something else. And since this is still technically new to me, um, I'm gonna, I don't really know what it's doing. So I'm gonna stick with noise. <laughs> There we go. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest, because uh, this is the only one I've played with. So say you're in here and you're trying to make some clouds or whatnot, and you've got your your whole setup looking nice and good. Uh, you want to export it. I'm going to choose a more interesting looking noise real quick. That's really busy, so that might be interesting. All right, so we'll just say we'll stick with this. And now that you have everything set up, everything looks good, um, let's go ahead and export it. So to do that, you need to have the Volume Builder selected. Go to File, Export, VDB. And then here you can change what you want. I'm going to set that to 1 because I think that's the reason why it's exporting so huge. Um, and then if you animated this, you can export it as an animation. You can change the name for it, uh, the naming convention if you want. And then you can choose the Start and End Frames. And then at the bottom here, you have selected only. So if you have multiples in here, uh, you select them all, then it'll export the selected only. If you uncheck that, uh, it'll export all of them. So in this case, we're just going to do export only. That was my test VDB. So let's go ahead and save that and replace it. And then it just takes a, a little bit of time to export the VDB. Depending on the noise and the detail that you have going on, uh, the last one I did just for uh, trial and test took like two seconds to export and there wasn't much going on so obviously this one's going to take a little bit longer while it's I can't really do anything while it's exporting so I guess we're just going to wait and I'm going to go ahead and all right and it's done so now that we have our VDB exported we can go ahead and delete these let's go ahead and load up a volume and this volume is the octane volume I just have it all set up because I primarily work inside of octane Use a few other things, but Octane's about it. We're going to go to Main, change the, the type from Generator to VDB Loader, go to VDB, and we're going to load up our... Um, that's... Uh, did I do an animation? I shouldn't have done that. That's probably why it took so long. Anyways, <laughs> I have 90 files on my desktop now of the same VDB, uh, and it's not even animated. 
All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and make that a fog, and we're gonna throw in a octane daylight. Took forever because I freaking exported it as a <laughs> as an animation. Don't make my mistake. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, I changed the size, the scale to one meter. I'm just gonna zoom out anyways because so far I've had to. So let's go ahead and yeah see it it exports it really large and i don't know if it's just something that i'm doing wrong or what but it's just always exports larger than i anticipate but anyways it worked so i'm gonna put this uh floor in here just so we can see that it's fully functional with the octane daylight and uh, we can go into the volume here and actually change some settings so if we want to make it fire we could do that. Uh, I'm going to stick with fog and let's go ahead and change these things up. So I'm going to do something fun and offhanded. We make that blue. Usually I would use white because I'm making clouds or, or you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever kind of gaseous form I'm trying to make. I'll make this uh, white as well and uh, change this to 0.3. I like the scattering phase to be around 0.3 to 0.5 because that looks a little more natural to me, but it really depends on your current situation. Like, you know, we can totally change the scattering phase the opposite direction, or we can go even further. I mean, it just depends on what you want. But 0.3 is where I'm going to stick to it. There we go. Uh, now, if you want to control the detail inside of your VDB file here, or your volume now, uh, you can see here that we have some really weird uh, texturing going on. You can see the voxels really well. That's because of the volume step length. If we want to make those soft, and it's going to thin it out a bit. We increase it from 4 to you know something else. Let's do 10. You can see how it's getting softer. And we can keep increasing that until it's almost pretty much gone. So this is where trying to play around with your VDBs as much as possible to make sure that you have it set up the way you would like before you export it makes a ton of sense. You can also change the density. Obviously the density is just going to play with the density of the of the volume and we can increase uh, or decrease the volume step length here uh, make it a little bit more solid and then we can continue decreasing or increasing as we see fit. Uh, anyways that is how you would export VDBs out of Cinema 4D. And the nice thing is, is a lot of people are using, um, God damn it, this is primarily in R21, but my camera likes to reset when I do things too fast. Um, a lot of people use Houdini to make VDBs in clouds, and Houdini is great for doing such things. Uh, but now if you don't have Houdini and you always wanted to make VDBs, and export them or make clouds and export them from Cinema 4D, here's your opportunity to do it. And you can see here it's all working with the, the light and everything. So anyways, I hope uh, this wasn't boring, but I hope it was more informative than anything. So just a quick one for you. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and give me a shout out and I'll see you in the next one.